In this remote desert, there are miles and miles of desolate sand dunes. It's the perfect place for an extreme test of turret booster lubricating ability. We've come to the desert to punish this engine. We're removing the valve cover which is going to expose the valve train, which is the top part of the engine. Engine on. Now watch as we create one of the worst sandstorms imaginable. Fans on. Look at the sand, it's blocking the engine. It's getting into the valves. It's getting into the valve train. But the engine is still working. Un unbelievable. Remember we treated this engine with turret booster. Absolutely amazing. Let's get the camera really close. Look how filthy. Look how dirty. Look how contaminated the valve train is and it's still running. I don't know how many pounds of sand has entered this engine, but it's unbelievable you got to see this. You gotta see this. Fans off, fans off. Unbelievable. Take a look at this engine. Look at how well this engine is running. All the times when we've done the job. Absolutely amazing. But wait, we're not finished. We then removed the oil pan to expose the crankshaft and we restarted the car. We drove the car to the edge of a 800 foot sand dune and off it goes. This car is literally being pounded by sand. As it drives the engine is under heavy load but it's performing remarkably well. Remember this car's engine has already survived a blistering sandstorm the car is making another pass the driver is so confident that he's going for another run down the dunes. Look at the car kick up sand. The bumper is off and the car hit with such force that the bumper ripped away and the car is still driving. The driver finally pulls in to stop after making 12 runs down the dunes. Now it's time to reveal the effects the sand has had on the crankshaft. Look, the car is still running after pounds and pounds of sand contaminating the engine. It's still launched. That's the power of turret booster.